Hey everyone, welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. Today we will be talking about the original Star Stable because apparently a lot of you guys don't even know that there was an original Star Stable. So obviously I want to tell you about it and I don't blame you for not knowing because these games came out a long time ago. But before we get into it, make sure you are subscribed because I checked my analytics and a lot of you guys forget to hit the subscribe button but still come back to watch the videos. So moving into the video, a lot of you may know of Starshine Legacy, the first Star Stable games, which if you don't know, you can watch them on my channel. The playlist is in the comment section. After Starshine Legacy, Star Academy was released and then Star Stable was released. I don't mean Star Stable as in Star Stable Online, I mean Star Stable. The original Star Stable is what came after Star Shine Legacy and Star Academy. So what even is the original Star Stable? So Star Stable was a series of games produced around 2008 and comes from Sweden. They came in different episodes that you had to play in order, which that order is the Autumn Rider, the Winter Rider, the Spring Rider, and the Summer Rider. And what happens when you finish the Summer Rider game? Well, who moves to Jorvik and goes to Moreland? Um, you do in Star Stable Online. So let's talk about Star Stable. Each game takes place in a different part of Jorvik. From what I could tell, the goal of the game is to go from a beginner rider to a competition level rider. Throughout the game, you have to complete quests to level up. And by the way, this all takes place in Jorvik. The map used in Star Stable actually is the map we have in Star Stable Online. However, our map is heavily changed when compared to the old map. The old map was used as the basis for Star Stable Online. Anyway, in Star Stable, you do the typical things you do, like a quest or a race, and care for your horse. You also meet different characters along the way, many of which we have in our current game. Your horse in Star Stable also has personality. I don't want to spoil the storyline, especially since I haven't gotten time to play the games yet, so I will just give vague rundowns. In the Autumn Rider, you begin your equestrian life at Jorvik Stables. You focus on cross-country in the game. Meanwhile, at the end of the game, you could take part in a cross-country competition. In the Winter Rider, you move up into your equestrian life and start doing show jumping. You work very hard to become a great show jumper and towards the end, take part in a show jumping competition. In the Spring Rider, you focus on dressage and take part in a dressage competition at the end. So as you could see, you work really hard your entire game just to go compete. Something a lot of real equestrians do. But the Summer Rider, however, is not English riding, but instead Western riding, because Star Stable will include characters who have spent time in America but who want to also bring the American Western riding to Jorvik. So basically, in the games, you play as a person who goes to Jorvik to experience the equestrian life. And although we no longer play as this character in our current Star Stable Online game, it is extremely cool to see how the creators took Star Stable and then made it into an online game. If you have watched my channel before, you probably know that I have an intense fear of Star Stable Online ending. Literally back in like 2016, I would look up on Google, is SSO shutting down? Because I was terrified that it would. So if you have that fear like I do, if you think the game will ever end because you're, you have a really bad fear of that happening, don't worry, we always have the original Star Stable games to go back to. They are not the same as the online version, but they are a cool throwback to the past and is everything that Jorvik is built off of. And I think that is very cool. And by the way, if you played the game, the um, online game, from 2011 to about 2017, then you know the old graphics. And the old graphics we had in the online game are the same graphics we have in the Star Stable games. So if you miss old Star Stable, this is the closest you're going to get to it. It's literally Old Star Stable in a nutshell. You get the winter, you get the autumn, you get spring and summer. 
everything you want is there. It's old Star Stable. The same music too. If you go to those games, the music is the old music, it's the old sound effects, it's the old everything. It's even like the old clothes. It's like so cool. I love it. Like it's really a throwback to the past, very nostalgic, even if you didn't play the old games because it looks exactly like the old Star Stable Online before it got updated. So I think it's pretty cool. Also, shout out to Eleanor Nightwalker because I am probably using her footage to show you guys what the old games look like. I have the old games, by the way. I do have the old games. I just haven't had time to play them yet. So I was talking to Eleanor and I was asking her, um, how long does it take to finish the old games? Because if you play Star Stable Online, it will take you about five months, maybe four months, to finish the entire game. But if you play these games... The old ones, they take about eight hours to finish for the first one. And then Eleanor said the other ones are like shorter, so maybe like five hours. And at the end of the game, obviously you compete and you finish a storyline pretty much, right? So I was talking to her and I asked if um, you could still play the game after you finish everything. And she said that you can keep playing, but there probably won't be much to do once you finish everything. So yeah, shout out to Eleanor, she's great, and yeah, I just, I really like the old games. I haven't played them yet, obviously, but they sound so cool, and you know what's so sad? Recently, I made a video called Logging Back Into Old Star Stable, and so many people were asking me if they could download the old Star Stable game, and by old Star Stable game, I mean our current game, before it got updated. Isn't that sad? Like, everyone wishes we could go back in time to how Star Stable used to be, because the game has changed so much. I feel so bad, because like, I want to go back to old Star Stable too, but we can't. We cannot do that. So if you want to go back, I mean you could watch that video, because it is the closest you will ever get to old SSO. But, if you want to play old SSO, old Star Stable games is the best route to take because they look just like the old graphics we had. There's also more areas to explore. Like, if you go to the old Star Stable games, the map is way larger than our current map, so that's pretty cool. And also, it is old Star Stable in a nutshell because all the characters are their same old selves, and the sound effects are the same. The graphics are the same old graphics, you know? Nothing really changed. So, I think it's really, really cool, and I can't wait to start playing them. But, yeah, I hope you liked the video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!